Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So God wants me to explain Rahab the Horlet, the spirit of Rahab, and she's the whore of Babylon. The great, and I made a mistake in my other video, and I'm just correcting it right now. And um, that she was attacking me when I was making the video about the daughter of Zion versus the daughter of Babylon, because she's the great whore of Babylon. All right, so we're gonna get into it. This is, and I'm gonna play like two videos on how she attacks the voices of the prophets. Uh, she attacks the church, and she's a big afflictor of the church and what her name means. All right, so Rahab means bluster, is used in the Hebrew Bible to indicate pride, arrogance, a mystical sea monster, as a emblemic or poetic name for Egypt. Are for the sea. Rahab meaning arrogant, raging, turbulent, afflictor. So she's an afflictor to the church, the body of Christ, prophets, and seers. She's worse than Jezebel and she's worse than Delilah and she cloaks herself under a fake pretense of the church. She's the one who perverted the ways of the church, right? Privil sea monster representing the forces of chaos. God overcame in creation, so God also wants me to tell you that in, in like TV shows, she's portrayed as the Scarlet Witch. What is chaos magic? The Scarlet Witch. The Scarlet Witch became a conduit of chaos magic, allowing her to shift profitabilities and warp realities itself in the form of hexes. That That is her. That is her in like, you know, TV shows, showing the stuff that she does but she does that to the body of christ she does that to the prophets and seers she does that to people's marriages she's the mish the great the mistress the whore she's uh, rahab meaning arrogant raging turbulent afflictor right um representing the forces of chaos god overcame in creation as in job 9 and 13 job 26 and 12 Psalms 89 and 10, where Zion, daughter Zion's talked about crushing her and destroying her, right? Rahab, who sits still, Rahab who has been exterminated, Rahab the do nothing, Rahab the subdued. That's like in other Bible versions. The definition of arrogant by definition means unduly or excessively proud, overbearing, characterized by haughtiness and unreasonable. So God's saying that she's proud, she's unbearing, she's unreasonable, she's haunty, she's arrogant. They speak vanity, everyone to his neighbor. So the privil sea monster representing the forces of chaos that overcame in creation. Leviathan and Rahab, demons of chaos. Demons that twist, suffocate, and attack God's purpose for your life. The whore of Babylon. So the whore of Babylon, she is the whore of Babylon. So arrogancy, haunty, conceited self-importance opinionated full of oneself overbearing pompous so we get the type of spirit she is right but she's a very dangerous spirit because she cloaks herself as being good proverbs 16 and 18 pride goes before destruction and a haunty spirit before a fall we know god hates pride and he hates hauntiness which the spirit of rahab is and she's the great whore of babylon the great whore not the dot the the great whore when it talks about the great whore uh you know rahab in the story of jo jo um in joshua she was a whore that saved um them likewise when not rahab the whorelet justified by works this is she never changed from being a whorelet all right that's why in later it mentions in isaiah 80 in Psalms 87 and 4, I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me, because she's the great whore of Babylon. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this man was born there. And then in Psalms 89 and 10, thou hast broken Rahab in pieces. Daughter Zion's going to break Rahab in pieces. As one that is slain, thou hast scattered thy enemies with thy strong arm. Isaiah 51 and 9, awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in ancient days, that's the daughter of Zion. In the generations of old are not thou it that has cut rahab and wounded the dragon this is talking about that that rahab she's going to be cut down by daughter zion you guys are going to everyone's going to see that fight 
And God says in Isaiah 30, 13 and 11, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. The arrogancy of the proud is um, the whore of Babylon, Rahab, the whorelet. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. 1 Samuel 2 and 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is the is a God of knowledge. And by him actions are weighed. Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead. This is her. So I made a mistake. Because when I was making that video before. She was like messing with the prophets messing with the people who speak for god and upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother of horlets and the abominations of the earth for revelations 19 and 2 for true and righteous are his judgments for he has judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornications and has avenged the blood of his servants at her hand Re Revelation 17 and 15 and he said unto me the waters which thou sawest where the whore sits and peoples and multitudes and the nations and the tongues so let's go back in books right like it says in Rahab is a mystical sea monster a dragon of the waters a demonic angel of the sea Rahab resembles the paradigmal abyss the water dragon of darkness and chaos comparable to leviathan that's she's wicked now rahab like this to go in books rahab in the biblical whorelet of the book joshua and in blake's jerusalem she is the great whore of babylon as well as the goddess of heaven earth and hell so and he wants you to know when it's talking about in rev in proverbs he's talking about her because she was it remember she saved um joshua them from from the from the spies which forsakes the guide of her youth and forget the covenant of her god for her house inclines unto death and her paths unto the dead none that go unto her return again neither they take hold of the paths of life that's talking about her god said he is talking about her to deliver thee from the strange woman even the stranger which flatters with her words that forsakes the guide of her youth because god had mercy on her with Joshua, God had mercy on her, and she's just wicked, right? By faith, the whorelet Rahab perished not with them that believed not, because she that that time she believed in God when she had received the spies the spies with peace. So he's talking about her in Proverbs. She's the evil woman whose foot take on hell and death, and her steps go down to hell. She's the strange woman God's talking about, and the one who perverted the church. So we're going to even go to some women's videos talking more about her. But this is very important. I'm going to go back to some books. Because you have to get the full understanding. Um, it is it is a fall into chaos. Imagine terms of noadic deluge and the Egyptian bondage of the Israelites. She is none other than Rahab, the apocalyptic whore of Babylon. The ultimate symbol of mystery. So she cloaks herself. Rahab the whore is the whore of Babylon, which him to sedu seductive human form of nature, conflict with the dragon, and chaos. So she seduces people's husbands and wives. She puts a lot of promiscuality, sexual immorality, adultery. She's the mother of whorelets. Rahab the whore, the mystery of Babylon. So... I just want you to know she causes chaos and confusion and disorder. So if we go to what slavery is Rahab, the whore of Babylon, the forces of mystery. So if we go to what chaos means, this is all the stuff she does to people's marriages, people's life, and into the church of God in churches. So people disorder. She brings disorder, disarray, disorganization, confusion mayhem bedlam phenomenon madness she put strikes people with madness havoc turmoil tumult commotion disruption upveil fear frenzy uproar